Alright, let us go into it and yeah, we're gonna the crime beast has claimed another victim. Yeah, I'm not gonna be tired of saying that because trust me, that's our regular occurrence in Jamaica on a weekly basis. That yeah, another Jamaican civilian has lost their lives. Now, what's especially nerve 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 touching about is that this victim latest casualty was a good Samaritan. This was a guy that literally risked his life to uh, to protect someone he did not know when he saw just being committed. So let's go into the guy who's Orthaniel Orth Orth Thomas. Now this is a twenty one year old dude. I want, this is what makes it very sad but also very noble the fact that you have some these younger the younger ones and this guy's much much younger than I am um who said that hey I knew that that moment when I saw this lady getting robbed because this this woman was trying um um was woman was robbed by two men a motorcycle motorcycle and Nathaniel kind of just put went into hero mode unfortunately and was shot dead by one of the would be robbers um as, as a result of that now. I say this online is that first I want to say rest in peace to the power to this young man. This guy had more backbone and more uh, and, and more balls than most Jamaicans put together. Let's just be call a spade a spade. This is why I'm just recording because this youth at that very moment and even he knew at that moment that hey, I I don't um, I wasn't go I wasn't I know that this other likely possibility that I'm not gonna make gonna make it out alive. When I attempted this, I attempted to do what I did, and yeah, I know most Jamaicans, and this is where I know the morons and the losers and the cowards are going to say, Boy, that man, they are idiots, you know, man, why am I risking life for this woman? You don't even know, I mean, if all me, I would just stand by the side and just do nothing. Yeah, that's what, and that is the mindset a lot, a lot of Jamaicans are going to be coming through when they read the story. That most of the comment sections are going to be that, Boy, this boy, this youth was a fool. Not, not I'm going to be saying that yeah, this guy was a brave kid who uh, who knew that who didn't have a weapon of his own, didn't like, didn't know um more and more like odds were against him, and he did what he did. Cause bear in mind, though, this was a kid that probably knew that you know what, in order to stand up against something that's not right, I was going to forego any chance of protection or whatever. And this guy, and, and like I said, this guy in his last moments pretty much knew that I was most likely going to end up dead. But he said, you know what? Sometimes just standing, being a standing on your own two feet is better than bone down on your knees. Like a, like a, um, like a lowly life form. And that's why I, I just record, I want people to take this away from it. This you was a warrior. This you had that warrior spirit that has been mostly missing in Jamaica for centuries. That we, Jamaica again, had a class of brave, about that life warriors. And then they got wiped out. Just like this you got wiped out by the cowards and the low life, low life degenerates that unfortunately have taken up Jamaica. And this is and this is why I have to do this recording now. I didn't know this kid. I didn't know this kid could be young to be my baby brother. I'm not revealing my age. Let's be fair. But this is a youth that was that could have gone on, probably had a good life. He could have done everything. He could have stood by side and just tap and say, "Hey, I could just be in a, minding my own business." But then I think there was something that says, "You know what? I have to do what's right, even though it's going to cost me my life." And this is what Jamaicans, more Jamaicans need to take away from this. The, more Jamaicans need to say to themselves that the coldest thing has not been working for Jamaica cause, because, like I said, that is just emboldened a lot of the criminals because we don't have punks like this with armed with guns. You have more people about that life, especially if they had the means to defend themselves, bring it to these, um, bring it to these um, low lives. But unfortunately, we don't. Now, is Orthaniel Thomas going to be a hashtag? Not likely. This is going to be a one-week story at best. I mean, most Jamaicans are going to say, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, he's a fool. He got, well, I mean, he, he was his life needlessly. So, yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't know. If that had been one of their relatives or family members, um, they would be saying the same thing. They'd then be complaining about, well, we need more Jamaicans who are about that life. We need Jamaicans who are not cowards. And when you have Jamaicans like this man who's not a coward, these are people, same people don't give me any mind, pay me any mind. People just say, yeah, 
Because let's just be honest and fair. A lot of celebrities are not going to be put putting this on a hashtag. A lot of the politicians, you're not going to see Andrew Holness or Mark Golden visiting the family of this this kid. If I, all of them are saying, whatever, nothing to do with us anyways. I mean, we can't really make this, we can't make a photo op of this. I mean, like, I like the, the farm that woman and her four children who were murdered by a scumbag cousin in, in, um, in Clarendon. I mean, yeah, there's no photo op for this. Jamaicans for justice won't say anything about this. None of these other human rights. And we ain't going to expect no of these organized religions to say anything about this man. Because as far as they're concerned, this guy was a fool who got what he deserved. Because hey, he just risked his life. How dare he actually show spine and a moral backbone. I mean, that's not what we're doing. I mean, and then man, if the police were to kill these criminals who kill them, then they're going to be seeing more reactions. Then many people are going to be acting like the criminals were more the victims and then this guy or the woman they attempted to rob. But yeah, I'm proud to this record of Nathaniel Thomas, and we need to highlight more Jamaicans at this. Just like that, um, that banker, I think Stephen McPherson, I think two years ago, I believe, who actually literally risked his life to save his daughter from being kidnapped, and God knows what happened. And yeah, nothing much is made of that story. I think they said that they had some people in custody, and and nothing else went to that. But you didn't hear the prime minister, the opposition, or any of these people. Making Stephen McPherson that brave banker saying that, okay, um, saying out that we need more people like him. You didn't see the civilians blocking roads for Stephen McPherson. You're not going to be seeing anyone blocking roads for Nathaniel Thomas either. Because as far as I'm, most of the Jamaicans, the ones who are cowardly buffoons, are concerned, it don't to do with us. I mean, he's a fool. He's an idiot. He shouldn't have done what he did. And then, and, and the flip side is many of these same people are complaining and whining about why there are no, no Jamaicans who have backbone or morals and who are good for nothing. And when you have some people who are not good for nothing, we don't celebrate or acknowledge these people. But I'm giving this to Arthur Thomas. Rest in power, my youth. And may your killers get what's coming to them ASAP. He has said that. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Gusinferon, Miles Your Productions with Thoughts and Miles. Ciao.